Hello, welcome to this How to Survive segment, which is on this news awesome YouTube channel. Um... This is kind of like an advice column to be exact. What I'm doing is called How to Survive, which I will be telling you either stories, kind of giving you advice from my own personal life, on how to survive high school or different topics. Today's high school, um, I will think I have a lot of good ideas for other ones. I thought I'd kind of do basic. For anyone who's in high school, this would be useful. I think for anyone who hasn't, you can probably relate and be like, yeah, that's true. Okay, first point is actually showing up. You're not going to get anywhere if you do not show up to school. Unless you're in the hospital, really sick of something, then you have a valid excuse. Or unless you need to take, like, one mental health day. I don't think mental health days are the best things to do. Take like a mental health block and leave school and then come back to school and focus on your life after you've completed your mini mission that you had to, to do and you couldn't have done it at any other time. That is a valid excuse. But if you're like, well, no, I would never do that, then, then good for you. You don't, you don't have a reason? Stay in school. Because I think... You can get really sidetracked. Missing one class or a whole day will kind of lead you on a spur be like, oh, well it wouldn't hurt to do another day, and then another day, and then before you know it, you're filling all your classes and you're kicking out of school. Or you're just like behind a grade or like I've actually known people who I think they had other valid reasons. I Mainly mean, specifically one person. I'm not gonna name them out because yeah, I don't think they're gonna see this, but anyway. <laughs> the point is, um they got back a grade and I don't it was mainly because they didn't show up and I know they had other reasons they had like other things going on but I mean unless you physically like can't go I mean you should try because at one point you are gonna go to school and you're gonna finish your education I know that's what they're doing now too so the thing is like why couldn't you have just gone then like was it such a big deal if you can go now then why couldn't you have just gone then and I know you were in like all the time because you have to go and I think Trying to run away from problems, too, are, like, really bad. And a lot of friendship problems can happen. And the thing is, what you could do is you can't really... Sometimes, I get it, you can't confront someone and be like, Hey, can you stop doing this? Like, I know you would love to confront a bully or, like, a mean friend or something. Sometimes you literally just can't do that because you're not on speaking terms. It's not something you've said. It's just, you know, it's there. And I think for this kind of situation, you would just basically... Try to ignore it, try not to let it get to you, because maybe they want it to get to you. And maybe you're winning by not letting it get to you. As much as it gets to you, don't let it get to you. If you get that. That was kind of a tongue twister. Um, I know having a social life and, like, an academic school life is two very different things that, like, correspond. Like, you're there to make friends and study, like, maybe you should study together you got those type of friends. Um, I think you have to make time for both in that sense it's because you should not not have a social life. You're gonna be like in college, university, or when you finish your education and you'll be like then you'll have your job and like maybe you'll have a lot of money or not. And then you'll realize, oh crap, I have like no friends because I haven't made time for them. And then what are you gonna do? Who are you gonna hang out with? Like the point is you wanna have someone or some friends or learn those skills so you can carry them along to when you're older so you can make friends or you can have friends that are still there because they're really awesome friends and I think that's why having a social life is very important it doesn't have to be huge it can just be like one or two people um I think being a nice person to you in high school really helps like no one is gonna want to remember that person that treated them like crap Maybe you're that person. Maybe you're not. I hope you're not that person. I think we're all, we're always, we always will be like a victim at one point, you know, you're just, you're just not the cool kid. You're just like the side kid, you know, you're someone's friend and maybe they're popular, but you're not. And what's weird is I've realized in high school, I don't know if you ever noticed, but there are groups of kids, like, just like TV shows and stuff, there literally are their own little groups of people and... What's weird is I can't really define myself in a group, but I know there's like the popular people, the sporty kids, the people in bands and choir, like the drama geeks kind of thing. Like there literally are all those groups. And 
I don't think I ever thought there was like that. Like that was like so high school, like so TV high school, and there's such a big difference from TV high school to real life. I'm doing like quotations. You probably can't see that because I'm just like ah. <laughs> um, basically, a lot of things in high school are hard. Um, if any of you have seen the movie um, Detention, I think it has Josh Hutcherson in it from The Hunger Games. I don't know why I watched it. Like it makes no sense, but there's like this really quote in it that I like and it's like it's just high school and you know what high school is really just high school like that's all it is